Hey, what's going on, people? Your boy, man, Mike, coming at you guys with Atlanta Falcons news out of the Atlanta Falcons camp. We already know that Matt Ryan has been restructured. Jake Matthews, um, Dante Fowler, his contract has been reworked. Um, these guys are going to be here at least for this uh, for the next couple of years. But Deion Jones has agreed on a deal. His agent, the super agent, Drew Rosenhaus, these guys have um, kind of get a deal where it's going to save about $4 million, okay? $4 million, and um, it's going to relieve the Falcons. It's going to give them about $4 million on the restructure. This deal is absolutely amazing um, for the Atlanta Falcons, and it, it really does say a lot. What does it say exactly? Well, the Falcons will have uh, more money to rework um, to kind of go out and maybe sign a guy to here and there. Um, but when you look at the cap savings, um, it saves about four, um, five, uh, about four million dollars in 21, and then five million. The cap hit is about 18 million. Um, the dead cap hit in 2022 is 20. Two million. All right. So this basically, when you look at this, um, this restructure for the Atlanta Falcons, um, it, it clearly states that Deion Jones is going to be here for the next few years for the Atlanta Falcons. Going, he's going to be here for 2021, 2022. Um, Matt Ryan obviously going to be here for 2021, 2022, as well as Jake Matthews, a restructured 21. 2022 all right the only guy that's really in question at this present moment is dante fowler which his contract has been the third year of his contract has essentially been reworked um well it pretty much been voided all right with his uh, there's no deal but um when you look at this deal with the atlanta falcons man um it says a lot it says that a lot of falcons they are committing to the guys that you know we all question whether or not these guys are going to be here um, Deion Jones is a guy that they obviously believed in. Um, he's going to be able to, you know, move around. He's going to do some different things with a guy like Dean Pease. And if you know anything about Dean Pease, man, his, his system is predicated on adjustments. It's predicated on great game plans. And, um, he makes those necessary adjustments that the Falcons have des so desperately needed on the defensive side of the ball, especially from game to game. You don't get the exact same game plan. This is something that I preach and, uh, you know, guys on the Atlanta Falcons nation that we preach over and over again. All right. We preach this over and over again. The Falcons have to continue to adjust. Do not continue to do the same things over and over and over again. All right. We saw that Dan Quinn, he's a cover three guy. He was reluctant to, you know, move on from that scheme. We saw last year with, um, we saw last year with Raheem Morris that the Falcons kind of did things similar to that. Um, when you look at the cover two scheme, as well as blitzing more than these guys ever have, um, you definitely going to get, you know, a difference of you're definitely going to get a different type of defense. You're going to kind of see, you know, the same things, but it's going to be more aggressive. He's going to send blitzes from corners. He's going to send blitzes from linebackers, safeties. Dean Pease is going to see exactly that. So having a guy like Deion Jones, at least for the next two years or so, they're obviously committed to him. He's going to gunner. Right? He's going to gunner a lot of, uh, a lot of attention from offenses. Um, the Falcons, um, they have a guy that they can not only, you know, move around and do some things with. Um, they have two guys that they have, you know, can move around and do some things with. So, um, for your Ola Kuhn, um, he's a guy that plays safety. He, play, can, he can play each one of the linebackers position. He has that versatility. Um, you have, um, Michael Walker is a guy who also has that versatility, and he can move around. He's a, more of a big, bigger body linebacker for the Atlanta Falcons. But you look at this, man, um, it, what it essentially means for the Atlanta Falcons and Deion Jones, man, uh, is pretty much uh, these guys are going to not. All right, The trade partner for um, 
he's not going to trade him. All right, it pretty much makes it damn near impossible for the Atlanta Falcons to trade uh, Deion Jones. Um, the cap hit in twenty three is about nineteen million dollars. Um, like I said, with this man, this is going to be a huge, huge. Um, deal for the Atlanta Falcons um, and being able to not only commit to the players like Deion Jones, um, Matt Ryan, Jake Matthews, um, those two guys that are, you know, uh, still quote unquote in question. Julio Jones is a guy, you look at his contract, he has pretty much all guaranteed money and um, Julio Jones definitely deserves it. But what are they going to do with Julio Jones? You got guys like Grady Jarrett. I expect the Falcons to extend Grady Jarrett. There's been some rumors whether or not the Falcons are going to extend Grady Jarrett. So when you look at this man, I think this is uh, an amazing, amazing opportunity, uh, not only for the Atlanta Falcons, but um, I think this is this signifies that this team um, is, they they believe in the current build of what this team is. Deion Jones, Grady Jarrett, Julio Jones, um, Matt Ryan, Jake Matthews. These guys who uh, these guys are obviously going to be here for a minute, um, two to three years. In my explanation, uh, in my uh, opinion. Uh, so when it all comes down to it, man, let me know what you guys think about this deal for Deion Jones. All right. Um, again, man, this has been an Atlanta Falcons news update. You guys continue to support your boy here at Mad Mike Sports, Atlanta Falcons Nation. We are what less than 30, almost 30 subscribers away from 1000. So if you guys do not mind, hit that description button to hit that description, uh, the link under the video so you guys can head over to Atlanta Falcons Nation and help us get to that mark of 1,000 subscribers. So with that being said, let me know what you guys think about this. Yeah, boy, man, Mike is out, man. Peace.